Shake up in one Piedmont town. Sparta is now without three of its leaders following the town council meeting last night. The Sparta town manager, attorney and mayor all announced their resignations in a meeting Tuesday. Although the town manager and attorney were both absent, the mayor read their resignation letters aloud. Then another council member made a motion to appoint Kevin Dow as town manager, and that's when the conversation takes a turn. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion that we appoint, as per general statutes, we have to have a manager. Uh, we have to have someone on staff to be that interim manager. I make a motion that we uh, that we appoint Kevin Dow as our interim manager. The second, Kevin Dow will not do it. The second part of the motion. Kevin Dow will not do it. He doesn't have a choice. He doesn't. He will not do it. He doesn't have to take it. He doesn't have to take it. Someone has to take it, and then I'm. A, I'm just telling you. You guys, you guys are jumping to the wrong beat right here. You have no idea what you're doing. You have lost your attorney. I'll, I'll, I'll let you attorney. talk. I'll let you talk. Listen to me. You've lost your attorney. Now you've lost your town manager. You're getting ready to lose other employees. I'm just telling you. Eventually, this is all going to fall in your lap. Your lap. And you get to make the decisions because I believe that's really where you're going. Is you want all power. Council, I give you your, your books. I give you your statutes to show what you can and can't do. So you made your motion that we... I point Kevin if he... He will not take it. I am telling you, I have I already talked to him. I don't doubt that, but he has to tell us that. So I make the motion. He has to notify us that he won't take it. I have a motion to appoint Kevin now, or ask Kevin now to be appointed as appoint, town manager. A motion to appoint Kevin. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any, any discussion? Show of hands in favor. <clears throat> All against. If he refuses, we'll have to have a special session to name the next. At time. this time, at this time, at this time. You hereby have my resignation as mayor of this town. I will not be a part of something that is so corrupt right now behind the scenes to eliminate a man that has done so much for this town. I have given my entire time as mayor and every bit of energy that I have and Ryan has too since he come on board to make sure that this town was taken care of and done the right way by laws, by statutes, and by the, the conduct that this policy has. That we have in our own in our own time. I will stand behind him 100 percent. And after this meeting, you will have my resignation as mayor of this town. Good luck in doing the town business. I need a motion to accept my resignation. I make the motion. I'll second that. Motion and a second. All in favor. All against. At this time, I need a, mo a motion to go into closed session. That won't be necessary, Mr. Mayor. We've already dealt with the issue. Still going into closed session. I need. Well, yeah, I, mean, for I have the attorney issue. So. Right. Well, for my part, excuse me. So I have. I'll make that motion, Mr. Mayor. I have a motion to go into closed session. All in favor. I'll second. Second. I want to put all four over during the closed session. I was like, what? I, I had never, I didn't know about it. So, yeah, I'm curious to find out why and what's happening and see what's going on in this town. Sparta's town mayor addressing his sudden resignation today in a room full of people. Mayor Wes Brenniger explained what unfolded at Tuesday's town hall meeting.
Well, the mayor spoke for nearly 30 minutes, delivering a heartfelt message to the people of Sparta. And he said there are so many reasons that led up to his resignation on Tuesday, but he focused mostly today on his effort to remain honorable. Mayor Brinegar has been the mayor of Sparta since 2017. And since then, he says he's only missed one meeting, and it was the day he had a heart attack in October of 2022. His resignation Tuesday came after he caught wind of rumors going around saying town manager Ryan Wilmoth was going to be fired. He says certain people were trying to quote oust Wilmoth and went on to say once he heard Wilmoth's resignation letter and town council members voted three to one to accept it when he read it at the meeting without any discussion or tabling, he decided that he too would stand I with Wilmoth and resign counts. himself. He's not in as mayor, there are certain standards that we have as a mayor and a town council, and uh, some of those things have been unethical that's been going on here in my town, uh, and I have decided to step down because I cannot represent those uh, directions that they are headed uh, at this time. There's no corruption. There's no, no nothing like that that has happened in our town. It's a uh, pretty much just a power struggle and a coup that had been planned to take over by ousting our town manager and, uh, and trying to move on in a different direction, which I didn't appreciate. And now the town attorney's resignation letter was also read at Tuesday's meeting, but today the mayor did clarify that her resignation had already been announced and that was due to personal reasons unrelated to this. Brinegar will remain mayor until March 29th. After that, Mike Parlier will take over as mayor pro tem. Also to note, there is a Sparta personnel matter that is going to be investigated by the Sparta Police Department. The mayor couldn't give us any additional details on what that is. I'm going to go.